Hi guys, it's Mina. Sorry about that. I had to get rid of something. Anyway, today in this video, and I had to fix my hair, I'm going to do um, a store review because I haven't done one of those in like months. I can't remember the last time I actually did one, but I'm going to do one today, and today I'm going to review, um, I'm sorry, I can't think, Toys R Us. Now, um, I bet a lot of you guys know what the store Toys R Us is. Um, but I'm just going to say it was anyway. So Toys R Us is obviously a giant store filled with toys for kids. So that's the best I can say. Well, to start off, I hate Toys R Us so much. I mean, um, a lot of adults probably my age like that store. If you guys like it, then that's okay. I just personally don't like it because, personally, I think it's probably one of the most expensive stores I've ever seen. It's a lot, honestly, it's kind of a lot more expensive than it was when I was a kid. Well, I think it was not really that expensive, too expensive when I was a kid. Like, not a lot of things were overpriced. Well, I'll, everything in the store, the store-wide in there is, like, really overpriced. But when I was a kid, I don't remember that things being, like, overpriced. Like, I used to go there to buy Christmas presents for, like, my friends and stuff. And when I bought a Christmas... And... Sometimes I'd like try to pick out something that was actually a lot more expensive than I saw. Like <laughs> one time, um, I saw I was going shopping for my um, friend for Christmas. Like me and my um, my mom would take us to Toys R Us to go buy Christmas presents for our my for, take me and my brother to go buy Christmas presents for our friends. And I went to go buy my um, my friend something, and I was gonna buy her this like. Diva Stars plush cat, and for those who don't know what Diva Stars are, they were these dolls that came out in like the early 2000s. They had like really big heads. They're kind of like the um, the um, things with the giant eyes. I don't know what they're called. They're like plastic, and they have giant eyes. I don't know what they're called. Um, something bops or something. I don't know. No, they're like big-headed things, and they have giant black eyes. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, so I think Pop. They're called Pops. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're called Pops. Um, Pops, and um, I was bought like a diva. Tried to buy a diva star cat for my friend because I know how much she loved cats at the time. But I don't know if she still likes cats today. Okay, so I went to and um, tried to buy it for her, but my mom and I looked at the price, but it was a really pricey. <laughs> Pricey, and then another year I went to buy her like a plat, like a cat, another toy cat, because I knew cats, because again, she loved cats at the time, and I tried to buy her a for real friend, and those were expensive too, yeah, yeah, Toys R Us, I think, I think, I don't remember some things being pricey, but I, I don't remember the Barbie stuff being expensive, or the, um, Or the Disney dolls. Yeah, I don't remember that stuff being expensive. But um, nowadays, all, nowadays, like, everything in that store is expensive. Yeah, I don't remember that many things being that expensive. But from now on, like, store-wide, everything's, like, completely expensive today. Hey, more than it was when I was a kid. And, yeah, so that's mainly it. So next I'm going to talk about, like, the employees. The employees that work at Toys R Us are very nice, actually. I, like, um... They've at, they always come up, like, welcome to Toys R Us, can I help you, blah, 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 blah. And they're, like, all very nice, very friendly and helpful. Like, sometimes if if some people need to go look for something, they'll ask where to find it, and they'll go, you can go there, and stuff like that. They're, like, really helpful there. There, so. <laughs> and that's the only thing I like about that place is the employees. Other than that, I just don't like that store because I'm not a toy, I mean, I don't, I haven't played with toys since I was, pro um, since I was probably, like, 12. I haven't played with toys since I was 12 and um I just don't like it in there because it's like really noisy and it's just way too overpriced for a toy store. So you can find Toys R Us in like Pleasant Hill, Oakland. That's kind of the only places that are close to where I live that you can get go to Toys R Us. But other than that I don't know where else you can find it. Find it and I heard a lot of people who and honestly I've never worked at Toys R Us, but I heard a lot of people who worked at Toys R Us have had, like, really bad experience. Like, a lot of their managers were just jerks to them, or the employees, rather, were all jerks to them. 
and stuff. Like, I've heard, like, a lot of people who that have worked at... I'm glad I don't work at Toys R Us because I don't want to, like, go through the same experience like other people have. Like, a lot of people... I don't know anybody personally who's worked at Toys R Us, but um, from, like, the YouTube reviews, a lot of people who have worked there really have not enjoyed it because they've had issues with their manager or, like, customers or something and, like, toy prices or something. A lot of people who have worked there have hated it. It seems like. Okay, so I would not recommend to Toys R Us to people who don't like expensive stores because the store is, like, super expensive. And, um... So, but I would recommend it to, recommend it to somebody who likes nice employees because this place has a lot of nice employees. These that are very helpful just in case you have questions. Okay, so that was my review on Toys R Us. I know it was pretty short, but sorry. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!